Hello and welcome back to Tharik Plays Battle Chasers Night War. And let's get back to it, shall we? We're gonna be able to, to interrupt that last one. We could skip this ghoul as well, but who would we be if we would do that? That's just not okay. So, unfortunately, I think if we kill the motivator first... It is going to... Uh, if we kill the motivator first, it is going to buff the ghoul. Which I am not a big fan of right now, but we're gonna live with that. I'm gonna go with the assassinate, we just instantly axe him if we can, or knife him, I should rather say. Because there's our knives. Oh god, that was a crit. Holy moly. Yep, you got an, an attack up. With three turns. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. I'm gonna have to be extra careful with keeping Golly alive right now. It still shouldn't be a big problem right now, necessarily. Uh, we are full health and all that fun stuff. But we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful why we, while we, we go for this. Do we just go for the shielded assault to increase the damage? No, we're we're approaching the end, so I think I want to keep my burst up now or build it back up. So that we have the level 3 burst for the rest. That means right now I'm gonna defend. Yes, we do want to take reduced damage. She is gonna use the ambush though. And deal the extra damage, even though it is 20 of her own mana. I'm okay with that. Uh, honestly. We didn't take a lot of damage there. That's good. So we could go in with an... If it's sundered or bleeding, it deals extra damage. No, the wildfire won't do much good. The cannon blast would still be awesome, I think. So let's go in with the cannon blast. Just go for the high damage stuff right now. And then she can go for... Uh, cripple reduces damage a little bit. 1,000, that's good. Now we reduce his damage. He'll get to act, unfortunately, and hit Golly before we, we do that again. So he's gonna still deal a lot of damage there, but it could be way worse. Going with the Chimera. Get the chill. Some feasts, of course. 1,132 hit points. That's just nuts. It's not okay. What he's doing here. I do not condone such behavior. Let's go with an Innervating Mist. Get that uh, set up again. And now she can just instantly... He is already burning. He's sundered. No, we are... We are Basilisk shotting him first. We are stunning him once. Get that out of the way one time. Next up, she can now shatter. No. We go for high damage. We go Quake Fist. Gut Punch. Yes. Okay. This is working pretty well right now. This ghoul is still annoying, but we're about halfway there. I'm gonna go for one more Chimera shot before we... Next round, we start with the with the stuff. I do need to get a healing wave in there now, though. She's gonna take some damage now. As we can see. But overall, we are still fine. Let's go with the AP down again. So cripple him, please. And what does she do? She goes for the exploit weakness, of course, because we do want the guaranteed crit. And now I can do that more than once. The, the the burning has worn off, unfortunately. Otherwise, we could have stacked that there, I think. No, the burning, off, it's just, it's bleeding. It's not burning. I always confuse those with, with him for some reason. Uh, no, we don't need to deal more damage. We can go for a heal. Healing touch on himself. Can we get a healing wave through here? We can get a healing wave through here. And we'll put that on... Yeah, just Golly. Let's get Golly up further. She stole the tank. She needs to have the high hit point pool. He might actually get to heal himself again. Or hit somebody. 
Okay, he's casting Feast. He's got 200 hit points left. We're not gonna get that. Goodbye. Nice! Real nice. Oh, there's the level up for him. So now we're level 22. I might have to do this dungeon again, though, just to, to farm a little bit. I'm not against that. We could start with that next time, possibly. But now we go over and we check out the last stuff here. So we get our level 20 uh, perks, or our 20 point perks. Attacking attacking increases power of the next heal by 40%. What? That one is actually really good. Because we can increase the power of our next heal by 120% if we want to. It's taking a while, but it's doable. Doubles the ignite portion of cannon shot from... Oh, also lovely. And then we've got the patient mending. Increases the power over heal. Heal, the power of heal over time effects by 40%. Ooh, lovely. And Innervating Mist 2 increases the overcharge gain from Innervating Mist by 50%. That one I do like. The Cleansing Rain is not good enough. I think. So we... We go with Innervating Mist 2 because that one I do use a lot and that would mean now 9 overcharge instead of... Six. The patient mending. I'm all for that actually as well. But I don't think we we can afford the points for that right now. How much more would I need? Eleven. So I would need to lower my overall healing capabilities, basically, just so that my healing over time would be better. And for that it's still too situational. So we do have nine points left though. Uh, so do we... We could still get the emergency protocol back, but I'm considering Gaia's Fist 2 as well. What would I do? Emergency protocol and then... Defense Matrix? No, that's not good enough. Also not really good enough. So, sure, let's go with Gaia's Fist 2 in that area. Or would removing one more be good? Now all damage will reduce... Nah, it's fine. We'll go with Gaia's Fist. I use that skill on a regular basis, at least. Okay, let's see with her. Backlash. Getting hit will now deal 18 damage to attacker's hit. Not bad. Deals an additional 7% of remaining HP and damage. Do like... Oh, an additional 7%. So, up to 12. Ooh, lovely. Power shields increases the power of sh damage shields by 40%. Oh, wow. Wow. And guard two. Guard will reduce the taken. Okay, for each hero. So that's the one that hits everybody. I don't think we necessarily need those. I do like the empowered shields. But I'm also okay with what we have going on right now. I think so. I'm gonna go for the extra hit points with the stamina up right now. Maybe I'll change my mind. On something, but for now we're okay with this. And then we've got her, Wild Shot 2. Increase the dam total damage of Wild Shot by 129. That one is actually interesting because I do go for that quite a bit. Red Monica Poisons, Ignites, and Bleeds can now crit. What? Okay, that sounds cool. Assassin, increases attack power by 10% and crit chance by 10%. I mean, yeah. Firebomb and Frostbomb will now cause two stacks of their debuffs instead of one. Also good. But the Assassin is nice. That's just an overall better critical hit chance. We could switch that against this, basically. This is nice, but it doesn't help us if I don't gain, uh, if I don't crit to begin with. So this one is just more reliable and it's gonna make crits more common, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Still don't understand what we're going doing wrong with her combat abilities. I'm gonna figure that out. I swear. Okay, so we're still missing a bunch of stuff in this area, though. Oh, yeah, we, we didn't go over here yet. There's more traps around. There's another lore piece. Choices of men. Um... I know where Vargas' power comes from. He's no longer a man. He's been made something more by Virus, by a gift he's been given. 
Vargas is part demon and part vampire. His power is sustained by drinking the blood of men, men like mine. He has offered me similar gifts. I could accept, though in doing so I will lose my humanity and be forever bound to him as a servant. Or I could refuse and be fed whole of body to his fire demons in a sacrifice to, to, to sustain their power. I guess I'll take the immortality. I can understand that point, probably. Let's see. Oh, there's another blamed fiend. Apparently. And a chest. We got the cannon on that, at least. So it's three enemies once more. And in this case, we are gonna boulder toss, I guess. Since it's three enemies, it's gonna be a long enough fight with that uh, with that blade elemental in there that I really don't need to worry about uh, getting my burst back up to three. So all in all, it's just good. Do we go with one wild shot at the beginning here? Yes, might kill the spider. There we go. So I actually don't know what my crit chance with Monica right now is. If only we could get a better weapon with her, though. I'd really appreciate that. Got a blade launch coming our way. Uh, what does he do? Gut punch him, I guess. There we go. And that means she can already go for an exploit weakness on him. With him being sundered and poisoned, he should just be toast after this. Yeah. Oh, that's good. The poison should be enough to kill him there. And now you can go in and get a cripple going for two actions. Yeah, let's get the cripple in there first. Which means we can go for a cannon blast there as well. Curse of the blade, we can get rid of that. Pretty easily, he's dead. There we go. Let uh, let me use... Let me use the cleansing bombs to get rid of that. I don't think I want to use his burst. Nice, we got the ignite, we got the burning. Please, going for the blade launch again. I am still taunting, yes, which means right now we are just gonna defend. Reduce the damage that we're taking. And then she can go back in. And nice! He's got three burning ticks now already on him. Yeah, it's 278 in terms of burning. Real good. I do like that quite a bit. We'll get the small heal there, although the heal is not that small by now anymore. Uh, it pretty much does what it's supposed to do. We will shatter. It's less damage from her, but it increases the damage that Monica is going to deal. Because it's a better Sunder. I could also just stun him again. You know what? Let's do that first. Just not have him do anything. Why would we let him do anything if we can avoid it? He's also going for Perforate, which doesn't sound good, but he also gets to act before I do. So, what do I know? We're bleeding. Boom. It's done. Nice. So, the bleeding is not what we want, of course, but we can't do much about it. Let's, let's assume that we are going to get hit again here. Let's just use the swift cleanse and get rid of the bleeding. So, our burst is back up to three, which is where we, we want it to be, of course. And I'm okay with going for the... Or I'm not. Actually. We're gonna keep doing the Camaro Stink. Nice crit, though. That's beautiful. We'll go for a Quake Fist. We'll go for a Healing Touch. Yeah, we got the heal out there. Maybe we get lucky and the poison's gonna get the kill, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to do enough. Luckily, he delays, so I get to shoot him. There we go. So that worked out. Awesome. Awesome possum. Level 22, didn't we also? Oh, I think, yes, yeah, level 23 where we get that. So next level we get our last skills overall. Come on. Wanna see something good there at the end? Nope. Oh, there's 
more law lore i should say choice of men three of four i've been imprisoned for many weeks now here in strongmont separated from my men i've been given proper living quarters befitting commanding officer of my rank this also places me close to Vargas's personal living quarters. Occasionally, Vargas himself will visit. Despite the cloying humidity of the moors, he, cl he comes clad in heavy hooded robe hiding all but his eyes, which gleam an inhuman red. Each time he speaks of power, loyalty, even immortality. Um, he's persuasive. Is it an attempt to recruit me? Well read. So we got a greater term of knowledge. We can just instantly use... But this one is... Okay, it's for Nolan. So we did everything we can here. I did miss a lore piece and a chest over there, but from the teleporter that we're going back to, we should be able to, to, to uh, still get that. Assuming it's going to let me use it. Because we won't know if there's enemies around or not. Okay, so we can go to here. Real quick, and I can go back and take a peek at... First of all, I'm gonna take a look at the lore that was in this room. I'm missing one piece here. Not the one piece, but one piece of lore. Uh, that was the last one. There we go, so let's read that. Elaine, the Grey Wall, it weren't a storm. We was clearly a trap. Thus we passed through. Um, the cannons hit us. Uh, the second we passed through, the cannons hit us. We uh, weren't normal cannonballs, though. They were wrapped in magic. Some fire, some poison, some different. Tore the leading edge of the fleet to shreds. I was in the water, for I knew what it, we was under attack. While I was underwater, thought that was it. I looked up, saw what seemed like fireworks on the surface of a lake, except I was under the lake. For a moment it was beautiful, almost peaceful. Through all the flashing, could only think of you. Almost wish that had been the end of it. Somehow my body took over when my mind was gone, got me to the surface, floated ashore on some wreckage, still smoldering most of the way, went up the beach with just my pack, and now I'm hiding. Something's coming, so... There we go, so that was the last lore piece there, nice. So that is another... we got a tome, didn't we? Where are these? I guess just the minor tomes. I just have to decide who to give that to. I'm going to decide that at some point. Use? Oh, we, oh, we can use that. I didn't even know that. Prince designs an ancient blade utilizing blade elemental shards. Use. Learned recipe Red Dawn. Okay. Can I look up? Crafting index. Red Dawn. Level 25 weapon. It's for garrison. So it won't help us. But goddamn... And we need a red rusty blade that we actually have? Blade Fiend Shark, 3 out of 5. Three Ancient Vampire Fangs and Epic Parts. Okay, wow. So we could craft a special weapon for him, apparently. Or at least a 25 weapon. It looks really cool. Let me look that, at that again. Was that a special weapon? What made me say that? You know, it's purple. just But it got a special name. But they all have, so I don't know. It is instantly purple, though. I'm confused, but let's let's accept that. So there is somewhere here. There. Oh, okay. I see where where it is. There's a crumbling wall here that I missed previously. So there is a chest at the end of this. Nice. We got another black diamond. I think that one's also fairly important for the crafting. And now we're just gonna take the pet teleporter back. Although we can also just walk back. I guess we're we're not that far off. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, looks like we actually did everything. We just couldn't do the fishing for some reason. Because they were always bugged. And now we go down there. Let's do this, though. Heal up with him. And see what this will bring us. We did it. The shields are down. We may be too late. Something is still coming through. We cannot bank down now. We may not have a choice. Look, the master will see you now. Antelopers, you've killed my underlings, but Vargas shall still rise. Vargas shall bring fire to the world. Hope you guys have a plan for this. We never have a plan. Prophetic wretch, why does my body wither? 
sound good yeah thank you for that i i can i could do without you doing that awoken too early 9200 hit points holy moly okay we taunt i have no idea what he can do so right now we are we're gonna see, basically. We're gonna start with the Creeping Death Burst from her, get the poison started on him, basically. And it's just a burst for one right now. So let's see what that does. We got a crit, uh, okay, well, it was a waste of our crit there overall, but still. So he's casting something. We go for a Gut Punch next, yeah. Get the Sunder up. Next up, Shield of Assault. We want the damage buff for everybody and the damage shield as long as we can get it. Since I've already taunted, it's either gonna absorb damage. Oh, we could go for a Basilisk shot. Yeah, let's try to stun him. Yeah, nice. Oh, he's stun immune. Okay, so we can't stun him. Still, really good hit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go all out. We'll go high damage. I could go Heroism to increase the damage shield. But let's cripple him instead. Reduce the damage that he can deal to us. That poison is already amazing. Wow, okay. Monica almost died and he's gone. There's three enemies around now instead. What's up with that? The issue is, this guy casts Fireball, and the other one goes Burst of Speed, and she does not have a lot of hit points. Um, so I think I'm gonna go in with the Major Healing Flask. Okay, went with for her, that's fine. Uh, let me see, I've got... I didn't get to use the Cannon Blast. Dolly's going next. Okay, wildfire is random targets. Would not be in there fast enough, though. Let's go with the Guardian song. Or do we know? We, we, we go with the Cleansing Rain. No, it's just the Cleansing Rain 1, though, right now. So the healing is not good enough. Which means we go for the Guardian song and heal everybody. Yeah. We are still taunting two attacks though, so that's good. I can't go for what I wanted there, so right now let's defend. We're gonna take some damage now. So my hit points on Monica just have me moderately worried considering what Vargas just did there. It's not okay. okay. Hit points. So, how do we deal with them effectively? Chimera there, I guess. Okay, we got a Sunder. That's a setup for ourselves mostly right now. Okay, he's also coming around with a Flame Wave. That's gonna hit everybody again and ignite them. So, I probably still should go in with his. Uh, with the healing rain, even though I don't have the healing rain 2 anymore, just being able to remove the fire the entire time seems like the right thing to do. Now we also need to taunt again with her, unfortunately. Let's see. So I can basilisk shot one of these guys if we want to. Let's go with the caster. I think he might be the most dangerous one we have to work against. So I might also want to focus on him. The shield spike is, is 
Oh, no. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We can... I think we're gonna focus him down first right now. So he is gonna go for the rain. It's gonna cost some of his own mana, but that's okay. And then we're gonna boulder toss these guys as well. Might be a bit too much. Because we don't know what's gonna happen afterwards with Vargas. But this is still a good setup. At least that's what it feels like right now. Let's go for a Chimera Sting up there, I guess. He goes back to a Flame Wave, which now we can somewhat counteract at least with the Cleansing Rain. Will the Heroism be fast enough? It will not. So a Barrier Swing would probably be the right thing, which will also not work. Can I get the Quake Fist through in time? We cannot. So what is our best one? I could just place a damage shield on her. Yes. It's just her, but it's a big one. The flame wave otherwise would deal too much damage to her again. I'm not okay with that. So this is kind of an issue right now. Okay, we're igniting again, but we're cleansing it instantly as well. So he is sundered. We go for exploit weakness up on him. He will go for another group heal right now for everybody. And she will go back to taunting. There we go. So hopefully we'll get the kill against him. Ah, it's not enough. Ah, he wasn't sundered ag anymore. Ah, or at all. Crap, that was a mistake from me. Still, no, she's no longer healing, so she's got that back up on her. But apparently that needs to be okay. So we Quake Fist him. It should also get the kill, I guess. Which means Monica goes for a Chimera shot on the Swift Bone. Not horrible. Okay, we get a Shield Spike again. That one we don't care too much about. Nice miss, thank you. And that gets the kill, perfect. So now we are looking a lot better. We can go over to Gut Punching here. I do need to heal up Golly, of course, but at least everybody else is looking pretty fine again. And we are gonna be able to do that in a moment. Nice! Actually allows me to go for counter. For ambush, what's... no, not ambush, for, for counter. Repost, that's the word. Still not quite dead, unfortunately. Okay, she lost her damage shield because I wasn't taunting any longer. That's fine now, though. Can we... The scatter shot's gonna make me act fast enough, so we get to do deal some damage over there while we also kill the other one in the process. Thank you. Next up is the long-term heal. So now this goes down to preparing because I feel like either this is the end of the dungeon and we just have to survive this or we now have to fight him again once these guys are dead. And if that's the case, we need to be in a good position. So I am trying right now to put ourselves in that position. Let's spend some of his mana. I'm okay with that. We still, once again, we have more than enough. So that's a good heal. She's gonna keep doing that. We're gonna just build overcharge with her right now. Have Golly uh, tank some damage here, and that's it. Although we should probably also try to get uh, some damage shields going, if that's the case, because that guy did deal an obscene amount of damage. Yeah, one more group heal. And then we're gonna call it okay, I think. Let's go for another one of these. So that alone is gonna kill him in a bit. 
Since I don't know what we need here, though, I'm, I'm not gonna go for that. We do have the healing plant. That's gonna be too much, so... Taunt. Yes. Yep. He almost killed himself. He is still gonna be able to attack us. But at least we get our heal up. That's what I wanted there. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten that. And now we can get the, the knockout. There we go. So I've got a lot of overcharge. There we go. Wave complete. I assumed as much. So he's back. Which means we need to redo that. We start once again with the shielded assault, I feel like. On this one. To get the damage shield. Let's see, he goes for Rise My Minions. Is that the same skill he used? Heals heavy magic damage to all heroes and summons minions to protect him. Yep, he goes... It's the same thing he did last time. Uh, so we have to... Somehow survive that. The Guardian Song would heal everybody up in time again. We need to get up Monica, basically. But we also need to deal damage to him, and I think in that case the Cannon Blast would be better. I'm just gonna risk it and hope that we can we can get this to, to stick. Could also assassinate him quite drastically, but I think I'd much rather keep uh, this around for a boulder toss. She might need some evasion here. Or is there something we could do to remove or reduce the damage he's going to take? No. We're going to go with the exploit weakness and just see how much that does. Yeah. Or no, he's... Ah. I go with evasive maneuvers. She's the one that needs to take reduced damage. We're fine with this. We actually are. It is pretty okay. Oh, I also should probably just go with the gravity punch against him. It's gonna hurt us here. But... The, the high damage there. It's just... It's too good right now. We He's always gonna go for this skill, so we want him to do that as little as possible. Oh, she got to act again before... Four, uh, so that I wasted one attack there. I should have gone for another one. So I do have to go with evasive maneuvers again now. So now he's going to disappear again. Taking a lot of damage in the process though still. This is much better already. I can just start with a boulder toss instantly. Uh, from Gully. He is gonna go with a Guardian Song once again, I feel like. Yeah. Burst, Boulder Toss, please. That's gonna pull the Bone Slice, or the, 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 the invisible one, out of his invisibility as well. And I think we might knock him out first now. They're stunned. I do have a lot of overcharge, though, which means we probably should just go for the damage. I think. Or not. Maybe just take the wild shot and see what we hit? No. We go for the high damage. The execute is... Somewhat problematic because he's not low enough yet. So thank thank you very much for hosting game me game night by the way. Or not game oh no gamer friend. Why is it no it's he's also hosting me, okay. But why is it not showing? What's up with my stream labs? Why is that not showing? That's weird. Okay, we need to taunt now. Gamer friend for up to four viewers. Okay, I still... Does auto-hosting not show up in Streamlabs? Is that different from actively hosting? I think that might be the reason, but I I, I don't know for certain. 270. 
Do we just know? We we let him know. Yeah, we do because he's poison as well. So that should definitely get the kill. She's still burning. We have to work with that. Let's go back. Um, we go with heroism right now because I'm trying to build a damage shield on Monica and Calibretto, and that is probably the best way to go about that. Nice crit. Got poison. Got an ignite. That's beautiful. We got a gut punch on him. Um, no, yeah, we're gonna do this. Get ourselves the damage shield. It's not gonna stick around a long time on, on Gully, of course, but ah oh well, who, who cares? It's more important on... on Monica right now, once again. So we've got this. Which means right now we probably go for an exploit weakness against him. Might be a bit overkill, but at least he's gonna be dead out of it. I guess. So there's that. Um, we do need to do some healing as well. So we can... Oh, wow, he survived that? Really? Why, though? Let's go with the scatter shot in that case. He gets to attack one more time. Well... We're still fine. It's just not quite what I had hoped for. So I should go for another... No, we'll just go for the healing touch on her. That's good enough. Cost less mana and still heals her for a good amount. This guy dealing damage is not that big of a deal. I can just go for another group heal in a moment as well, of course. And now we can get the Chimera Sting going here. Take him down slowly. Let's go back to the taunt. I think I'm going to try to go with one more group uh, shield here, but we'll see. Let's go with an innervating mist first of all. We're just, we're taking some time right now. If he deals some damage to Golly, it's not that bad. Every tick here I think that she's taking will be enough to to do something there. So, another Chimera thing. I'm still keeping the points safe for now. Yeah, another heroism. Let's do that. And he is going for another Guardian Song to heal everybody up as well. Cheesy's is just redoing a shield spike. We are not really in in any rush right now. Okay, we've got her at full overcharge now, which is good. So I can go all out in terms of damage with her as well. Once Vargas comes back. He's most likely going to be able to summon one more group of enemies here, I assume. But that should be it, basically. So we, we're, we, we've we got the end in sight. This is taking a lot longer than I had anticipated, but we're, we're, it's going to have to be okay. So he's over half weighted already. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. Might of Aramis. 1,853 piercing damage. That's about half of his health. A little bit less. Still. Really good. There we go. So he goes down to 1,600. Which means we almost have him. So I don't need to do much more. This will allow us to act before him. I think we can actually get him now. Execute should also work. Yeah, we're gonna get him now. Let's also shatter to make sure that Monica deals more physical damage. There we go. Yeah, he's toast. He's so toast. The poison and burning alone would have been enough, I think. But this is just what much more satisfying. So there we go. Holy guacamole. Oh, damn. Vargas' Skull Fragment, Purgatory Stone, and Lens of Passage. Ah, it seems we are fortunate. To still be alive, you mean? This lens the Lich possessed. It is a Lens of Passage, the portal Vargas came through. Think of it as a door. What good is that to us now? The portal is wrecked. This one, yes. 
but there is another to the north. I could find no way to pass through it. Until now. Hold on. You want to go into some portal that thing just came out of? Do you even have a clue what's waiting on the other side? No. Of course not. <laughs> really, Alumon? So we stopped the summoning ritual, and that is the dungeon done. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's see about this. Uh, the Enchantress may be interested in this. Let's open that. Which gave us crafting stuff and then more items for Nolan and that. That. Yes, definitely for her. Thank you very much. Okay. We are gonna leave the dungeon now. We could have even actively heal ourselves up there on the dun uh, on that on that thing. Um, we didn't even need to do that. But holy smokes, that was kind of big. So we're just gonna go back to Harm's Way real quick, and then we're gonna yeah, I'm gonna leave the dungeon. We're right at the exit, and then we're gonna end the stream for today. But we've we've got some stuff to talk about there as well, and just just see what's gonna happen once we get back there, basically. But good boss fight. I do like the, the boss fight design in this game. It's just... It's always different. This was a nice touch and a pretty mean one as well, if you're not careful. Oh, nice. So... We could now... Buy... Potentially, at least, buy the Ballad of the Hempen Jig outro, but I don't think we are right oh now. My. I might actually look up what that's for. Maybe. Let's do this. Stop. You have something in your possession. I can feel it. Huh? It's a purgatory stone. You're carrying one. Well, yeah, it was left behind after we killed Bargus. After you what? You killed a demon and didn't immediately come to me with this? Did look kind of funny, but we have other stuff going on. Look, I take too long to explain fully, so here's the short version. I haven't been able to enchant here in my tower for a while. A stone like this is the last thing I need to reawaken my magical implements. Allow me to have it and I'll even let you experiment with them. We weren't going to do anything else with it, so why not? Amazing, you killed a demon. Guess it's a good thing you showed up. We have worse around here. Yeah, we know all about it. Do you? So she's not too sure. And now we've got the Enchanter's table unlocked. Perfect. That is very My nice. Let's burn. chat. You've returned. Did you find the rest of the tome? Of course I did. The thing is, some of the words have been concealed. Haven't seen this particular enchant in a long while. Let me see. Shouldn't be hard to fix. Ah, yes, here. Let me reveal the rest to you. Not bad, Mercury. Not bad. Unlocked Nolan's ultimate burst. So we've got that now. Not that we're really going to use it, but My we've got it. So this is all of the enchantment stuff, by the way, I assume. So I'm just going to buy all of this right now. It's so expensive. The still burn. <laughs> Goodbye. But we're still going to do it. And use them all as well. Just to take a look here. What we can get now out of this. Yeah, there's so much stuff with this. Just look at this. Did I forget to learn something book-wise? Or do we have to go back to the... I think this is fine. Do we have to go back to the blacksmith one time? These are for level 24, but we do have level 21 enchantments now. That's good. So if I want to make those, we can, we can do that once we get better weapons uh, to do back. them. Uh, or to take them. <laughs> Let's see. Come on in. Let's browse his wares. So he does have... That's a level 13 weapon. He doesn't have anything level 21 wise. At least that's what it looks like. So we've got these here. I guess we buy all of them. Goodbye. As well. For the crafting. So what will those give us in terms of weapons? Let's check out. We've got level 24 crafting stuff now. Okay, and there is pistols in there for Monica. So that's something we really need to get if we don't get anything else here. Uh, that's awesome. Also new stuff for these two if we need to. 
And then obviously we get more armor as well, okay, of course. Uh, no, we, we would like to sell some stuff as well, real quick. The ritual blade will keep, I guess, for now. Typhoon we can sell. The issue basically is... I mean, it's still... I still should just sell these, basically. But if I ever decide to level these guys up, we need to, to get their, uh, the, the equipment there, basically. But let's face it, it's very unlikely that this is ever going to be the case. But I don't know. Thirteen, yeah, we're we're just gonna stick with that. The main reason I'm 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 saying this is because we you know crafting fishing all items have Okay. It's because I wanna buy some more healing stuff now. Or craft some more. Oh actually let's let's take a look at the well no he has no books left for us right now. Major Flask of reju Rejuvenation. That is really good. He's got Major Healing Flasks on sale right now. By three. These are better, of course, but they're also more expensive. For the whole party. Ah, nah, yes. Oh, that's fine right now. Okay. Nice. So, anything we're missing... We now have to go where? Where would we need to go next? With the Lens of Passage, we can now pass through portals only Destro's minions could use. Oh, okay, so that's the... Uh, it's uh, right up there, this thingy that we need to go for now. Um, but that's gonna have to wait until next time, I think. Yeah, let's just... A drink for um, let's rest one time. Get everybody back full. How you old, Nupkit? Better now that we know you're alive, you big softy. It may help Golly stay focused and Calibretto can talk about something else for a change. Oh, plus we need all the firepower we can get, wildly unpredictable as it is. Right. Listen, I've noticed we've all noticed. You haven't been using the sword. I don't need it. And with your withdrawn, and your withdrawn, even more than usual, which is scary. Isn't that part of my charm? Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like whoever or whatever we're up against will do just about anything to get their hands on a cursed artifact. So, it's probably best you keep it out of sight. That's the plan. Okay, then guess we're... Again, guess there's nothing more to worry about. Thanks for your concern. If there is, I'll handle it. You know you're not alone, kid. If you ever need to talk... I said I'll handle it. Good talk. Well, does that constitute a good talk? Apparently. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Battle Chasers Night War. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Battle Chasers, just stick around or follow me on Twitch. Uh, so yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.